guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Poshmark app. If you guys are not familiar with Poshmark, it's a social e-commerce marketplace app where you can buy and sell new and used clothing. I've been using this app for a while now. I was really active on it in college because I was trying to make some side money and I recently picked it back up because I have a bunch of items that I want to sell. So in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through how to create a listing, how to ship out your orders, and also some tips on how to shop on the app as well. So before I start listing my items, I like to take all of my photos first. I either take flat hanging shots or myself wearing the item. For the hanging shots, I have a thumbtack that I put on a white wall and then I'll take front, back, and detail shots always in the square shooting mode on my phone. And then for the items that I feel like need to be shown on the body to really show how it fits, then I'll actually wear the item. I have a ring light and then a Bluetooth clicker that syncs with my phone to take all the photos. Okay, so here is the Poshmark app. This is my profile at Juliusa. I have a bunch of listings. It kind of ranges from like vintage pieces to branded items like Stussy, Michael Kors, Meow. Um, I just have like a wide range of different items. Um, so to sell an item, you're gonna click right here, sell first. And then you can go to your folders and select your pictures that you just took. So I have photos here that I took on my phone of hanging flat shots and then I also found that I had a picture on Instagram that I'll add in as well. You are allowed to upload eight photos, so I have six here and then you want to click next. And then here you'll crop it, but since I already shot everything in a square, there's no cropping to be needed, so I just need to click next. Then from here you can select your cover shot and I usually shoot my photos kind of like in the order that I know it's going to be uploaded so I don't have to do any extra work when I am uploading. So in this case the cover shot is already selected and then I'll hit next again. Here you can like add different filters um, but I just like to keep everything original. I don't like really like to edit anything or do that extra work so I'll just keep it like that and then we'll move forward. So here you're going to put in all the details for your listing. Up at the top here is all the photos you just selected. And then we're gonna start off with adding the title first. So with items like these that are branded that I know are still like available for sale online, I do like to look it up on Google to kind of get the best search terms. Um, so on Google, I type Meow Kelly Top because that's the name of the item that I remember. Um, as you can see here, this one is a different colorway, but it's the same top. So I'm gonna kind of copy that same title and put it into my listing. So here in the title, I'm gonna put the product name that I found online as well as any other words that are very descriptive to kind of help me show up on different search pages. For the description, I'm gonna go back to the product page online and see what it says here to kind of get the full like material information and maybe like sizing information or anything that I can include in the description. After I copy and paste the description that I find online, I'm gonna alter it a little bit to make it fit my actual item. So in this case, I have the black denim version of this top, so I'm gonna switch around the words a little bit to make it match my item. Next, we're gonna go through the specific details of the items, like category, color, size, brand, and price. Some of these items are required and some are optional, so we'll just go through all of them. All the required ones are like the main things that you need to know for the listing. So for category, I'll go in and hit tops. For this top, I think I wanna put it in the blouses subcategory because that's kind of where it best fits. So I'm gonna click that and then quantity is optional. I obviously only have one, so I'm just gonna leave that as empty. For my size, my size is an extra small. The brand, so you can search different brands, but sometimes it doesn't come up if it's like a, kind of like a rare brand or if it's vintage. So you can like either put in your own brand or leave it blank. Because the brand name is already in the title name, I think it's fine for me to leave this one blank. For color options, you can select up to two colors. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna do black. New with tags optional. So this is really good if you do have a new item that has a tag. That's so always kind of better to include in your description. But this top is used, so I'm just gonna leave that blank. Bottom here is where you're gonna put your selling price and the original price. So you can show the original price and then your listing price, which is the price that you're selling it at, um, to kind of show and compare how much the customer is saving. Um, but say you have like a vintage item, I usually just put that original price as zero and just leave that zero so that the listing price is the only thing that shows. So for this Meow top online, it's selling right now for around $69. So if I wanna be competitive, I can price it a little bit lower. It is used, but in really great condition. The original price of this item is $2.55 and then I'm thinking I do wanna be competitive, so I'm gonna sell it for $50. 
Um, what I like about Poshmark is that it shows you exactly your earnings when sold here at the bottom. So if I sold this item for $50, um, I would actually be making $40 because Poshmark does take 30%. Um, it is a high percentage of their commission, but honestly, it's worth it because of how easy it is to actually ship an item and sell an item. If I see that my earning price is a little lower than I would like, then I'll just kind of raise the listing price. So maybe I could do 55 or 58 and then make that number higher so I'm more comfortable with that. And then here, right before you list your item, it gives you an option to share your item. So you can kind of share it with your other social media pages. Um, they also have different like shop parties going around all the time. Um, they're very like themed and curated, so it'll suggest some parties to add your item to. So right now there's this like casual cool party happening and obviously I want to get more exposure so I will share it on there. I don't connect my other social media sites personally just because I want to keep it separate from what I'm doing. Um, so I'll just keep it shared to this party and then hit list. So this is what the listing looks like. It has all your photos here and then your description, your size, your pricing, category, everything like that. Um, and then it also tells you information of the shipping and discount for the customer. All right, so I actually sold something super fast. I sold this bathing suit that I literally just posted yesterday. Um, and I printed out the shipping label. This is a voided one, but just an example because I don't want to show the information. But it just comes printed like this. And what you're going to need is a priority shipping bag and then some tape. Um, you can get these priority shipping bags. You can order it on USPS.com and it'll just ship to you for free. It'll come in like a pack of 10, I believe. Um, but what's great about this is that it is free. You don't have to pay for anything. So all you need is really just tape. And after you pack your item, you're just gonna tape your shipping label to the front here and then just drop it off at your local post office. When shopping on Poshmark, you just have to use keywords to find what you're looking for. You can search by brand, color, style. Um, they also have a lot of guided shopping on their page as well. Um, one item that I did get on Poshmark that was such a steal is this Danielle Guizio mesh dress. This one retails for like around $300 I believe and I only ended up paying like $30 for it. Because I had that redeemable credit that I didn't redeem yet, I was able to use that credit towards this order and then I ended up only paying like $30 out of pocket. Other things that you can do as a buyer on the app is uh, make offers on items and also bundle items. So say you find a shop where you want to buy more than one item from the same person. So you can ask the seller to bundle the two items together and give you a little bit of a discount and usually they'll do it. You can also like put in offers for an item to discount the price even further and kind of negotiate from there. That's can go back and forth. I think it's like, I think it's like three or four times that you're allowed to do it before it like ends. And I really like using those functions because it means that the price isn't super set in stone where you can negotiate and pay for the item that you're comfortable with. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching how easy it is to list and sell on Poshmark. If you guys have a Poshmark account, leave me a comment down below so I can follow it and shop it. I'm always looking for new accounts to follow. I love using this app because it's so easy and fast to use. For like a batch of items, it'll probably take me like about an hour or so to take photos and get it up. Especially because I take photos first and then I sit down to list everything, you kind of like get into like a groove of posting and you can literally post an item within like minutes. Using these types of apps is a great way to recycle your clothing and extend its lifetime by giving it to someone else who will get more wear out of it. Um, we live in a world where fast fashion is huge and there's just like so much product, so much clothing floating around. So whatever you can do to better help the environment, the better. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.